Hey y'all, I'm back with another simple one. Simple one, real simple and easy. We're gonna have some stuffed pizza baked potatoes. Real simple. I've already gone ahead and baked my potatoes for the sake of time. I've uh, wrapped them in foil and then what I did, I'm, instead of cooking them in my regular oven, I cooked them in my air fryer. You can use your regular oven. I just chose to use my air fryer. I cooked these for an hour and I, uh, of course I washed them, of course. And then I uh, put some oil, olive oil in a bowl and, you know, rolled them around in olive oil and just a little salt and pepper on the outside. Wrapped them in some foil folks, took some forks and just poked holes in them. And that's it. So we're going to unwrap. I'm going to unwrap one for now. We're going to do one. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, cut. Not all the way around, just like a oval shape, maybe, depending on the size of the um, the potato. We're gonna take that and put that in there. We're gonna take a spoon and scoop out all the way down to the bottom. You don't want to break it all the way out, but want to kind of leave a little hollowness to it, folks. You kind of got the gist of it pretty much just a little bit. I'm going to just take a little bit more off. I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to do the rest of them. We'll be right back. All right, folks, let me show you what it, what they look like. Hollow. Look like a little canoe. That's how you want it to look like. See how hollow it is? Now, we then took our, look like potato salad. In fact, I'm about to make potato salad. So, what I'm going to do now with that little potato mixture, I'm going to take some, um, now you use your favorite seasoning, folks. I'm using what I like to use, so you use what you like to use. Um, it's optional. I'm using a chili lime seasoning, folks. I'm going to go in about with uh, two tablespoons. Well, this got to be a better way. That's the one. Let me see if this comes up. Yeah. Got to be a better way. Because I done got dizzy, folks, just doing that. Just that quick. Now that's better. And that's two. I'm going to put a little deal in there. Just a little bit. Maybe a half a teaspoon. We ain't good to the end. I'm going to put a little crushed red pepper in there, folks. It's optional. You don't have to use it. But I want I got a taste for it. I like spicy stuff. A little bit of kick to it. I'm going with a little bit of oregano. Cumin, a little bit, and a little bit of chili powder, maybe a half a teaspoon. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese, folks. So I'm going with some Parmesan cheese, maybe. Here, let me measure that out. Got about two tablespoons of uh, that, and last, but no, oh, you know what? I'm gonna also add some um, pieces of uh, now. This is bacon pepperoni. You can use if I had beef, I sure would use it. Um, I'm gonna go in with some chorizo. This is some beef chorizo, folks. That I uh, cooked off camera. I'm ready to heat it up. And then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, these sliced onions I got right here. And then we're going to mix that in, folks. Like so. Like so. I don't want to kind of like, I don't want to mash it, mash it. I don't want it mash, mash. I do want some lumps in it. In our stuffing, this is our stuffing that we're going to stuff our potatoes with. Potatoes with. You 
might want yours a little bit more smashed. Mine is going to be a little lumpy. I like a little lump in mine. And so we're just going to take that mixture, folks, and put that in there like so. Smash that on in there like that. Then we're going to take some of our uh, this marinara sauce I got. I'm going to put that in there like that, folks. Just like so, folks. Just like so. All right. I'm going to put some of this. I got some Kobe Monterey. Um, that's what I had in my, my refrigerator. I wanted some um, mozzarella, but it's optional. This will work just as well. Just as well. Just as well, folks. Roll with some uh, turkey uh, pepperoni on top, folks. Throw some onions on top. Or just in there. Yeah, and I'm going to put some uh, little parsley. And some, uh, you know what, I'm going to put a little bit more Kobe Monterey. Kobe Jack. All right. Oh, I forgot about my uh, queso fresco. Yep, put some queso fresco. This is that crumbly cheese, folks. And we're going to crum crum crumble some of that on top like that, folks. And then I'll put some Italian. Now, this is Italian seasoning right here. And then we're going to pop it back in the um, toaster oven for about 20, 25 minutes just to melt that cheese. Just to show y'all what it looks like before we put it in there. So let me pause this. All right, folks, it's been 20 minutes. And when they came out of the uh, toaster oven, I went in with a little bit of more um, the Parmesan cheese and just sprinkled a little bit more par parsley on top, folks. So we're just going to see what it's working with. Oh, wow. That looks delicious. That's it, folks. It's delicious. <laughs> Try it if you want to. It's a nice snack. It could be a meal. It's up to you. That's it for today, folks. I'm going to love on somebody. Go be a blessing. Remember, it's always better to be a blessing than to receive a blessing. Till next time, folks. Shalom and peace.